guys, Arthur again, and today I have my 2010 Jaguar XFR and it has 49,000 miles on it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing and watching some of my other videos as well. I have a lot of videos on interesting cars and repairs that will really help out my channel grow. As far as the car goes, it is due for new control arm bushings. I noticed the other day that it was parked in a the garage, there was some oil that dripped on the ground and I was surprised that it was leaking because I didn't notice any leaks from the oil change I had done not that long ago. Then when I looked at it more, I saw that one of the control arms was actually leaking uh, fluid out of it. These cars, a lot of these modern European cars, they have fluid filled control arm bushings and once they age, and this one is 14 years old, they develop some cracks and this fluid leaks out and it compromises the performance of the car so i ordered new bushings and i'm gonna go ahead and see what i'm gonna do to replace them all right let's check out the parts that i have okay so i have eight bushings in total these are for two lower control arms on each side so four total control arms these are the part numbers for them two for these and then two for this a little bit smaller ones and then four for these i did pick these up from the jaguar dealership because i wanted the original ones i didn't want any aftermarket ones and they are pretty pricey for eight of them i paid around 600 dollars and at least they're available so i'm grateful for that all right now let me show you on the car Okay, I have the wheels off on both sides. I removed the bottom cover as well as I undid the fender liner from the front side. I don't really need to remove the whole thing. It would probably be clearer if I did, but you can see the nut is right there for the control arm. I'm going to mark its position for the alignment before I take it off because these are alignment bolts and I will remove it and as you can see this is where the oil came out from and this bushing is bad but I'm also going to replace these bushings and this bushing and this bushing okay let me start taking it apart Okay, so this front control arm bolt that goes right through here is being blocked by this bolt over here, which is located under this cooler. So you gotta take this one eight millimeter out, eight millimeter bolt from here, and then this slides towards the back of the car, and then you can lift it up a little bit. And then I was able to slide through a smaller 13 millimeter socket with a long extension ratcheting and i was able to loosen it up enough where this bolt was now i was able to slide out a really stupid design on this side there is nothing there so it can slide out but on the driver's side the bolt is blocking the control arm bolt
Okay, I have the driver's side out. This is the lower control arm. This is the wishbone. I think pretty sure the issue is just these, but I want to make sure they all are new. The light. None of them really have any excessive play, but I know since this one leaked out, it's not as good anymore. All right, now I'm going to take off the other side, and this is the rear one. These are new, about fourteen hundred dollars, so it makes sense to put in new bushings and be done with them. This small bushing that is for a sway bar, it doesn't really matter, this one is fine. These are honestly are okay too, but I'm sure it will feel better with new ones. Okay, now I got a little bit of change of plans. See, the dealership sold me four of these, and I thought these go here, and I pulled the old bushing out of here, and then I noticed that it's actually not the same. It's a different type of bushing, and it's not a serviceable item. So I was not able to reuse these anymore i had to buy new ones new these from a dealer are around 1300 dollars and i didn't go with that i did order lamp order two front new arms which are oem pretty much same arms you get from a jaguar just scratched off the names they're exactly the same ones so and these were about $360 for two of them shipped and I got them in in a day. So I'm going to put those in. I did kind of have no use for this 
ones anymore. You know, they're just gonna be sitting. I'll probably use it maybe next time or something. But that's where it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it back together. Okay, I do have the arms in. I took down the ones that are on the ball joints already. These as well as these. Once I lower the card down, I will torque down these big ones, one, two, and as well as, well as the sway bar link on both sides. I did put the cooler back in already in place. This one I just need to finishing up torquing and this should slide out only this bolt was blocking the big bolt and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels back on Okay, all the arms are back on, everything is tightened down. The only thing I need to do is put the cover back on, but first I'm gonna take it to do alignment. And then once I come back, I will put the cover back on. Okay, as you saw, I had to replace the control arms as well, not just the bushings because of, you know, I didn't know that those bushings were not replaceable, at least on this particular model. But the car drives really nice now. I did just take it to do alignment and I came back and it's just super smooth. The track's perfectly straight and as you can feel the bumps and stuff are very, very smooth. There's no shakes in the steering wheel, nothing. So that's about it. If you like the video, please comment, like and subscribe. There are more videos to come. Thank you.